Hey guys, my name is Shreis, and welcome to Simple Chemistry. In this video, we're going to be talking about how scientists classify matter. Now, let's first talk about what matter is. Matter is the stuff that makes up everything. You are made of matter. The air you're breathing is made up of matter. The device you're watching this video on is made up of matter. Essentially, everything is made up of matter. Mass, on the other hand, is a measure of how much matter that a substance has. And we're going to be talking about how the units of mass and how exactly we measure mass later, but just keep that definition in the back of your head. Now, let's go ahead and talk about how scientists classify matter. So here I kind of have like a little chart. So we have matter. Matter can be separated into two types, two classifications, homogeneous matter and heterogeneous matter. Let's first talk about heterogeneous matter. Heterogeneous matter are typically mixtures, and in heterogeneous matter we can see the individual parts that make up uh, the, the whole substance. For example, salad could be considered heterogeneous matter because you can see the individual parts. You can see the carrots, you can see the salads, uh, what am I saying, you can see the lettuce, you can see uh, the tomato. So heterogeneous matter are essentially just mixtures where you can see the individual parts. In homogeneous matter, you can't see the individual parts. Okay. For example, in solutions. So solutions can be considered mixtures. However, solutions look like one thing. So if you look at seawater, this is a good example of a solution. Seawater consists of not just water. It also has salt in it. Okay, but you can't discern the salt from the water. It just looks like regular water. Salt water and regular water look exactly the same. So since it looks like one substance, uh, it's considered a homogeneous uh, substance. Now, there are two types of pure substances, elements and compounds. Pure substances are substances which consist of just one type of atom, um, so elements are things which are consisting of just one type of atom. For example, if you look at the periodic table of elements, those are all elements, you know, like oxygen, and uh, that's an example of an element, and nitrogen is an example of an element. All of those substances have only one type of atom. Now, compounds are combinations of those elements. The reason why they're called pure substances is because at the atomic level, you're only seeing one thing. Carbon dioxide, if you have just carbon dioxide, every molecule of carbon dioxide, every compound, has just one carbon molecule, one carbon atom, and two oxygen atoms. And every unit of carbon dioxide is exactly the same. However, in a solution, every unit is not the same. So you can kind of think of pure substances as the same thing on a very, very tiny scale. And pure substances are again elements, the things that you see on the periodic table, as well as compounds, and compounds are combinations of elements, elements bonded together. And we're talking about these things a lot, as well as these things a lot throughout the course of chemistry. That's it for now. How scientists classify matter is as simple as that.